amazing. So who are we? We are the gods and goddesses of this earth, of this realm. But we don't come from this realm. Uh, I can re I remember a lot of my past lives. Like I know for a fact that I'm from Orion's Belt. You have some people that's from Pleiades. You have some people that's from Sirius A, Sirius B. We have to realize that we are eternal beings, eternal creatures. Death is an illusion. All death means is that you're no longer sustaining this vehicle. But you have many different vehicles. There is no d dimension of densities where you can travel to. Even in your dreams, you're in a body, right? When you're daydreaming, you're in a body. There is no dimension where you're not in the body. It's just different types of bodies you inhabit. You have terrestrial bodies, you have celestial bodies, and you have aquatic bodies because all of us come from the water. You see what I'm saying? So, so if I ask who we are, we are all. We are consciousness. We are God experiencing itself in 7 billion different people because it wanted to experience its creation. If you were all-knowing and omnipotent and all-seeing and, and you created something, you will want to experience what you created. You want to enjoy the fruits of your labor. How can you do that if you don't inhabit a body because you are consciousness? What the mind would do is create a body to experience reality. What do you think the reason for, for, for hands for? For I can touch things. You know the best analogy? Look at a baby. A baby runs around, put everything in his mouth, uses hands for everything, on his knees, it gets into everything. Why? Because it's using his body as a, a toolbox, a toolbox to figure out reality, to experience. We are here to experience. So who we are, we are God. We are consciousness experiencing itself in a physical, terrestrial, or celestial form. And we go.